Okay, English, Valentin English, the best way uh, to learn any language. Remember, if you want to learn a language, the only thing you got to do is learn it, speak it, listen and practice every single day. So, uh, today I'm here with... Marty or Marta. Marta, where are you from? I'm from Ohio in the United States. Oh, you know, Ohio in Japanese is good. Ohio, gozaimasu, is like good morning. So, you've been teaching English, right? I have. Uh, French speakers. French speakers. Okay. What do you think is the best way for you to teach them how to speak English knowing that they speak French? Well, we do a lot of repetition over and over. Um, we started with uh, simple words, um, uh, like who you are, who I am. Um, and we, um, we actually were going through a bit of a curriculum, but I like your method a little better because I don't think my French speakers picked it up as fast. Yes. You know what, uh, what I do is, uh, for example, when I'm teaching English, because I learn English myself, what I do is I use a lot of flashcards. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because, you know, a lot of people, when they are, mm -hmm. uh, trying to teach a language, they start talking a lot about grammar. And I think the most important thing is yes. we have to learn English the same way yes. we learn Spanish. Yes. For example, if you see a little baby, the little baby, the first thing is listening, listening. Uh -huh. And then he start to tattle, like right. mama, yes. mama. And when he say, put the book on the table, uh -huh. he would, he put on the chair, but they uh -huh. say not oh, on the table, mm -hmm. not that's on the table. Did. And then the, he start like repeating, repeating. I think we should learn a language with the ears, yes. not with the eyes. Yes. And I think that's the way. Yes. You've seen, you've yes. seen the flashcards. And like we say all the time, when I teach a language, you have four steps. First of all, listening, then speaking, then reading, and then writing. So if you want to have a very good yep. writing, what you need to do is to read a lot. Mm -hmm. And when you learn phrases, you learn the grammar way. Yes. That's what I was Yes. Say. And one of the things I will say was good was, um, like my ladies, uh, first of all, they love to laugh. So laughing was really good because we laughed at our mistakes. So laugh at your mistakes when you're learning. Like, oh, I, you know, ha, that's funny. But um, a lot of conversation, and I listen to questions they would ask. So don't be afraid to ask questions. That's really important. Try to find a friend who knows the language or knows somebody, and then you can ask them. Because I think the first part of learning is with good questions. Yes. And I think we need to learn with emotions, yes. with energy. You know, yes. when I start uh, teaching uh, French or Italian, German, it doesn't matter what. I start with the greetings. And yes. then, for example, you know, I say a little cartoons. Uh, like, I can't spend all day long just asking, where are you going? And you say, I'm going to the park. <laughs> where are you going? I'm going to the movies. Where are you going? I'm going to the cinema. Where are you going? I'm going to school. And what I do is I use a combination with all pronouns like, yes. where am I going? Where are you going? Where, are you going? where is she going? Where is she going? Where are we going? Where are you going? Where are they going? Yes. You know, that's the way yes. because I think uh, to speak a language, we, start, we need to start to speak about some other people. Yes. And also what I do is I describe everything I do during the day, like my daily routines. For example, when I'm going to open the mm -hmm. fridge, I say I'm opening the fridge now. I'm going to have my breakfast. Uh -huh. I'm going to turn on the television. And I try to think in English. That's yes. what I do. One other tip I love, I love your flashcards, but put them all over your house with the word. Of course, of course. Or the picture or yes. whatever to, to like, oh, now I'm opening the fridge. Now I'm putting my food in the, in the stove. Yeah, imagine if you learn like three phrases every single day. In yeah. a month, you're going to have 90 phrases. Yeah. For example, now... We're speaking and we are not thinking if we are talking in present, in the past, in the future. We are just speaking. And then if you learn phrases, you will learn automatically. Like if I say, I go to the park yesterday, you're going to say oh, something wrong. You don't say I go to the park yesterday. You say I went to the park yesterday. Right. Anything else, Marty? No, I'm so impressed. Okay, family. I keep making videos. Okay, family. So if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe, share with your friends, and push the like right. buttons. I see you there. Keep on learning, keep on practicing every single day. Bye. Bye-bye.